Gupta's Professor Zainike who was one of the founding professors of uh, IIT Madras. Uh, welcome sir. Thank you. So, when was your first visit to IIT Madras? It was uh, around the 1st July of the year 1963. Oh, you are you you really came very early in the. We uh, we, we came we came by boat from uh, Genoa to uh, Bombay. Okay. Then we were received by some government persons. They were taken. We were taken into the railway over the night, and we reached we reached here in the morning or mm -hmm. the, yeah early morning in the morning, and. All the guests, all the colleagues, the German ones, they came to the airport. No, they came to the railway station. Yeah. And we had a, a series of cars, you know, yeah. going from the railway station here. Yeah. So we have been the first family, wife and two children and myself, to go into a ready-made house, second crossroad. Okay. Even the beds were prepared. Okay. And all the colleagues, they had to live in town for some years, okay. you know. So we were the, the first family, you know, starting here, fresh. It was very surprising. And the worst was there were some, uh, some animals, you know, climbing up. <laughs> this, you know. I thought these were snakes, no? So these were full of snakes, small snakes. <laughs> Geckos, no? Geckos, yes. Geckos. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. And the next morning, around 9 o'clock, mm. Professor Ben Carrera came to our house okay. with his car. And I, I was called to sit in his car. Mm -hmm. So he was, you know, it, he was taking me over to his department. No, no breakfast. Yeah, I had to come okay. to his department. And till the end, he was my father here. You know, okay. he was yes. very old, rather old. He was my father here, like my father, because in the second year, I had some success, and. Uh, you know, the main aim was to introduce German methods. Okay. That means the education should be more practical. Yes. So I started to develop experiments for the students. Forty experiments within two years, and oh. each of them had to go through the experiments, you know. Mm. This was my main topic. But the assistant professor didn't like that. Okay. Because I tried to engage them, you know, to supervise. They didn't like. So they didn't like because they only kept to paperwork. They okay. had textbooks and put the results into the board. That's all. You know. okay. They didn't like me. They, told, they put a rumor in the, in the, in the town okay. saying, we have got a young boy from Germany. He calls himself professor. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and <coughs> then cut her home. Mm. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Okay, okay. Did you hear did that? You know, hear that? Don't mention. Go on. You <laughs> okay. are good. <laughs> like a father, you know? Yes. So, in fact, he was, he was, was the head of the department for a very long time. He uh, was great. He went to uh, Africa then. Yes. So, who were all the other German professors who worked with you at the time? Uh, Professor Lutz. Lutz, he came shortly after me for um, steam machines. Okay. Uh, he was from Darmstadt. Then uh, Heitland, mm -hmm. he came uh, from Caltech. Mm -hmm. And Scheer, he was here a long time earlier, mechanical engineering, <coughs> a tall fellow. He was leaving IIT later and went to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And he got married there also. So I met him a few years ago. He was spending the, the largest portion of his life in Ethiopia. Okay. 
So a very experienced, uh, you know, worker. Then uh, Dr. Koch in physics. Um, I'd learned others before, man, you know, running the workshop. Um, Dr. Klein, he was in charge of languages, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a, a group of very different persons, very okay. different, you know. We were the only uh, young family. I was yeah. only 30. Oh. Okay. But uh, it worked, it worked, no problem. And from the beginning, I had friends in, uh, in Germany, trainees, yeah. who came to my institute in Germany to be trained, even to do, do their uh, doctorate work. It was yeah. Dr. Garrod, mm -hmm. you know? He did his doctorate work mm -hmm. in my uh, department, and I also helped him. Dr. Banerjee also yes. was here. So, when I came here the first Sunday, I went to Adya and I found the family of uh, Patmanaban. Okay. Patmanaban. I found this family on the first weekend, imagine. And from that time, I visited this family nearly every week once. Okay. Even now, I saw his sister, Vasanta. He okay. returned to Germany. He work, worked for IBM. Yes. Um, precision mechanic was the subject. So this was, you know, uh, uh, amazingly, um, I came in contact with those uh, trainees and they t took me over, invited my wife, and then they told me, why don't you come with us? Huh? Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, I had my doctorate work ready so I was open to leave uh, the institute in Braunschweig. And so I decided to go. Okay. So I went to Bonn, had a contract and uh, waited. And then Professor Kraus came. He came to see the trainees. Okay. And they introduced me to Professor Kraus. He was a project leader. Okay. And they told him, my dear professor, this is the chap who will go with us to Madras. Then he replied, which fool has in influenced you to go over there? <laughs> which fool? <laughs> it was a joke, you know? Yeah, absolutely. But this was this kind of joke. <laughs> so, you know, I was shifted and prepared to go here but okay. by those friends. Good. When I, when I came back to uh, Germany two years later, um, some of them were still there. So I was received again and I was honored saying foreign return. That means he comes back, he has a new car, he is rich now, you know. <laughs> foreign return. You know that uh, word? <laughs> Professor Myers also came from Braunschweig. He came uh, much later. Yeah, yeah. He came after me. Okay. Shortly after. Yeah, yeah. He was on Braunschweig. Yeah, yeah. And he was here for a long time. So uh, you have uh, been coming here regularly. How do you feel that IIT has progressed? No, you know, I came here uh, in. I came here in eighteen. Uh, 1989, 91, 93, uh, 2009, 2030, I guess in 2017 now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can judge about uh, development only after having a distance, a distance of looking at it and knowing. So this time I had a distance of four years okay. and I found it has developed well. Mm -hmm. It has been it has become larger, and more students and more whatever complex uh, devices. Uh, I'm really happy about this development, and I think you know after the first two years here, it was declared that there had been four IITs. This was number one. Number one. 
And I hope this is still number one. It is number one in oh, yeah. 2016. Among all the 20 IITs. Yeah, it is number one among the 23 IITs, among all the colleges in the country. And uh, we hope to keep that number one in 2017. It was declared number one in 2016. And we hope to get it in 2017 also. You know, okay. I am... Uh, I'm in a position to support India, you know, because this is half part of my home. It's a new home country. So uh, I like it as it is now. Uh, but nobody will believe that this is, that this is an institution in India because in the opinion of the majority of Europeans, India is a lousy country, you know, <laughs> full of trouble and poverty and so on. Uh, misusing girls, you know, in the newspaper. The newspaper yes. So they won't believe. But I, I am convinced it is a country where you have proper developments like this. And I will defend it. I will defend it and say this is my truth about the country. So uh, uh, how were the classes held? What was the uh, starting time? Starting time? Yeah, for the classes. Um, I started to begin uh, the, uh, to install equipment. Okay. You know, you had the buildings, empty rooms. The equipment from Germany was in the store. Nobody had opened Nobody. the boxes. So <coughs> I <laughs> put them out, started to have early experiments. Then I had a large room to be installed uh, with tables and uh, switching boards and whatever. So I had to um, uh, go to the director mm -hmm. and ask him how should we do it, this way, this way. He would always say, no, no. This was his answer, no. So I left him and did it my way. Mm -hmm. That means... I had a long, uh, long um, room, okay. and I had two uh, chambers, two chambers here, here, two of them, and had the uh, switching board above, had the cables and the wall, and those tables were made of Bangkok teak. Oh, you okay. can't afford no, yes, no we to can buy afford. Bangkok teak. Okay. Bangkok is uh, the next country. Yeah, Thailand. It is in Thailand. Thailand and yeah. Cambodia, no? Kambodja. No, Thailand. Bangkok oh. is in Thailand. Uh, Marvelous. They were built in the uh, workshop here. Hmm. So the workshop was run by an elderly people also, a chap also. He also liked, he was like my father. Uh -huh. So once I went to him to have something and it was delayed. Mm. He tried to help me and explained, um, you know, boy, like that, you know, mm. you know, my boy, I must apologize you for not, you know, getting ready. I didn't know what is the word apology. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apologize, huh? Yeah. Apologize. <laughs> Those, you know, old people, they were like my father. It was so nice, you know. I was the youngest here, I was active. And then this uh, laboratory was ready. Let's say 10 tables, you know, two, four, six, yes, five, six. ten, ready made. And we, we covered the, uh, the cables with, with thick face plywood, always okay. expensive. So then I called the director. What happened? All my uh, mechanic worker, they would come. They would. They would hide themselves behind the pillar, you know, mm, not, waiting, not. waiting, waiting. The director came in, looking at this this room. <laughs> he never came back. <laughs> he never came, came back. back. So he had to accept it, though it was against his own plans. Okay, good. He never so, came back. Uh, 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 do you recollect any of the Indian professors at the time who joined along with you? 
Remember, you mean? Uh, other, yeah. other Indian professors who joined the electrical department. Uh, when Kate Mot, uh, G. G. K. Moti, oh, G. K. Moti, nice yes. he was a me measurement technologist. Yes, he was very polite and yeah. very good chap. Um, Achutan was bad. Oh, Achutan was arrogant. <laughs> really, he didn't like me at all. Yeah. Um, so the younger, many of them. Banerjee was there. Banerjee was there. Uh, uh, Narendra. Narendra. He, he did his PhD in high voltage. Uh, from Erlangen, I think. Vijay Kimoti was a very polite person, I must say. Okay. In your first research, how long you were here? I only stayed here for two years. Two years, okay. But, uh, you know, the uh, appreciation of the... Uh, so I got later, during the visits. Okay. Imagine, I came here in the year 89, I brought my daughter mm -hmm. with me. My daughter was a language, a language uh, expert yeah. in English and French. She worked for the European Union in Luxembourg in the German department. And I took her to India for three weeks each. We have been in Delhi and Bombay in Nagpur and here and so on. And she, uh, she put lectures on the aim on the purpose of the European Union. In the okay. age of 30, you know, okay. young girl uh, playing mm -hmm. world policy. Because Dr. Rao told me, why don't you take your daughter? She would be an expert. So I, she did, uh, she had, she posed lectures about the uh, European Union in many places. And uh, without an official order, it was mm -hmm. a private talk, you know, yes. with overhead foils. And everybody clapped, you know. They liked it. They liked the way how yeah. she did it. It was really great. My daughter was number one. I was number two. <laughs> okay. uh, she was so open-minded. <coughs> and she, in all the places, she, she was affected by the, by the girls, you know. Okay. She was, you know, among, among <coughs> the girls. And they, they, they took her into the girls' hostel. Oh, I okay. could I could never enter, you know, but okay. she she would see everything, you know, all the mess inside, you know. It so was so nice to have her with me. So when she came back, she remembered old old times hmm? when she was here when you were young. Did yeah. she remember? Yeah, her oh, yeah. Time she, here? she she came here in fifty in fifty in sixty. She was four years old. Okay. Uh, fifty nine, sixty three, yeah, four years. Okay. And she was so clever, mm -hmm. imagine, in the year 65, she was just five years old. Huh? And once we went to um, Vasanta's house in Uru, okay. Adya. Okay. We came there in the afternoon after the lunch. So we came into the uh, court behind the house and there was some leftovers from the, from the lunch. So what she declared? Auntie Lakshmi, you, your house is dirty. Okay. You must wash the crockery. Okay. <laughs> In the year of five, you know, imagine. Yes. So proud and safe. And yes, Auntie Lakshmi, she's right, you know. She's right, yes, she's got it. <laughs> About my style, yeah. somehow. So when uh, you came in uh, 1963, uh, was there uh, this much amount of uh, trees or uh, the institute was, uh, so many trees were there or not so many? In mine, uh, it was still, it was unique in, in, in India, of course. Um, I saw IIST for a talk. Uh, somebody has invited me there. But you know, this uh, combination of uh, living areas and institute and wildlife, it is unique. You know, even according to, to European measures, this is the paradise. <laughs> My opinion, you know? Yes. It is a paradise. 
in India, all together, living area, hostels, institutes, nobody will, will believe this in Germany. Nobody will believe. So how many students were there in the class at that time? Uh, there was a convocation in 64. Mm -hmm. The first uh, group of uh, e Bachelor of Engineering, no? mm. I mean, leaving the school 50 or 100 like that, you know. Okay. No, when you are teaching the students, how many students in your uh, class? It was a, a section for um, high frequency communication. Okay. So my uh, lessons were for 20 people. Like this. And I had four diploma works conducting the works. Mm, yeah. And uh, so four chaps decided to be with me. And this was something new for the remaining teachers. And I had, because I came from uh, television in Braunschweig, I had talks in, in other schools in, in, in Madras about. Uh, the um, basic theory of colors, you know. Mm. The color television, you, you mix uh, three elementary colors, uh, red, blue, yellow, whatever, and you then create any kind of shade. So I explained this <coughs> people here, the theory of mixing colors. Um, it, you know, in the 65, this was new. There was no, no yeah, television, television, no color television in, in Europe. It was after 70 only. It was something new even for other schools also. So the uh, institute had a television uh, laboratory at the time? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Not okay. even, uh, uh, no receiver here. Okay. We, in, in Germany, we had a close relation to RCA in okay. America. And the okay. RCA, they have built the first color tubes. You know, use devices like this, you know, like this. And the first uh, receivers were, the tube was going up. There was a mirror. Okay. So you should look at the mirror and down. Very okay. complex device. So this was, in the year 65, this was new. The, uh, the installation of this was only later. Okay. And I... I learned uh, the technology of uh, color television <coughs> in, in, in my doctorate work. Um, so, I, just to have talks here, it was nice to have, it was nice to have something special, you know, which was new. But the real, my real, uh, Basic education was in Siemens then. Siemens. You know, I joined Siemens in the year 50, uh, 60, uh, 65. I had a good uh, start. And the, the, the best education here was the language. You know, I even know after t t 10 days, I start thinking and, uh, and uh, sleeping and why do you make in English? English. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how difficult it was, it was when you came from Germany to teach in English? Uh, it, it was not difficult, no. Mm -hmm. I was an open man of. Okay. So the language now, you know, I came to Siemens. Mm -hmm. It was the beginning of uh, computer science. So all my colleagues, they were educated for, you know, ordinary electrical material, but not yeah. for, you computer know, science. to build large computers, you have to speed up. Yes. So it is a question of uh, transmitting pulses, transmitting electromagnetic waves along printed lines. So this was new for everybody. But I, w I came from communication. Communication, you know? so you I was prepared you know, to, to have multi-layer uh, boards and have uh, really transmission of pulses, and not only ones and zeros. That was the difference. So this I learned in the, in the university already. And then my language. I was very good in English. And this helped me a lot. Because I had to go to America very often to meet uh, other companies. When I came there, 
was rewarding other companies. My boss was with me, my boss was at my side, so he would talk. When I came alone, I would talk. And they liked, they liked me, you know, to be uh, their guest. Once I had to step down in Zurich mm -hmm. to change the plane. And a chap from Motorola came from London and he asked me, where are you going? Yes, I'm going to we'll go to Phoenix, Arizona, Motorola. He got pale and declared, you are known as a tough negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, he's coming again. He knows it. <laughs> His fellow, he knows it. Not only ones and zeros. It was such a, a close relation. When I came, the big shots came to talk to me because I knew the details, you know. I was from communication. And once I asked him, can't you show me your equipment to test these devices, you know? Can't you show me your automated testers? So they would look around like this and like this. You can go. <laughs> so I was allowed to go to the lab and see it. Mm -hmm. And then I, bu I built my own testers at home. Oh, excellent. After learning how to do it. And my own testers were much better than those. You know, this is the way to be trusted. Okay. Among so, companies who work together, you have to be open no? yes, yeah, in both directions. Otherwise, it, it's not true. This I learned. Because it's through the language, you know, I was prepared to declare everything precisely. So after you went back to Braunschweig, uh, you rejoined the University of Braunschweig? No, no, Tevo I, Braunschweig? I went no. to Siemens. Oh, you uh, you rejoined the table. No, it was over. It was over. Was over. Okay. So, uh, uh, apart from you, who else came from Braunschweig? Um, Maya. Maya. Only uh, two of you. I, I, I knew Maya for many mm. years. Yes. Uh, I, I also know Professor Maya. Uh, yeah. In fact, when I went to Braunschweig, I stayed in his house. Are you really? Day. Yes. Uh -huh. so, uh, now he lived close to Hanover. Yes. He was working in another school there. Yeah, yeah. He, he was working in Hanover yeah. as an emeritus professor. Uh, so uh, how, how was uh, uh, life in the evenings? Yeah. And after, uh, um, you could, you, know, you have shadow trees from the beginning. You, you could walk. Yeah. Um, the children, they played in the, in the court behind the house. Mm -hmm. it was a, there was a tree with shadows. They played in the sand. No infection, mm -hmm. nothing. You know, at home, what about yours? How can you? When we left Germany in the 60s, many friends came to the railway station. How can you be so cruel and take your Small kids Shoot. to India. Oh, how can you be? <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing, happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. There was no danger. Okay. No, uh, what I wanted to ask was whether the German professors uh, were together, you were uh, uh, having uh, some kind of an activity together at the time? Um, you know, Uwe was there. Hmm. His wife was intelligent uh, somehow. Mm -hmm. And he also came, I think he came from Near East to uh, Madras. Mm -hmm. So he was, he had worked in other countries you know, before. He was an experienced, you know, worker for outside countries. Owe was there. And, but you know, we, we, we stick to friends outside of the IIT. Okay. Well, Santa, for example, I met her some days ago. Mm -hmm. And we were invited to to my co-workers. There is Chester in uh, Villa Sherry. Yes, he was my assistant. My foreman was uh, uh, Rangachari, okay. and he was a relative of uh, some pat. Mm -hmm. So the problem was Rangachari liked me. Some pat didn't like me. 
But Van Ashay was supporting me. <laughs> Very good, huh? Yes, I understood. He was supporting me. And he came to Germany for training okay. for mm -hmm. some, uh, some months. And he came to my house also. So these two years, mm -hmm. they have opened my mind. You know, I have been traveling to other countries. I have been traveling to Syria and Iran. I came here also to see uh, schools, to see schools in uh, Delhi and Bombay and Nagpur especially, in Rajkot. So, because I knew Katyava is a remote province, so how to go to Rajkot? So the method was this. I would call Garut in Nagpur. Dear Garut, yeah. can't you help me? Have you got a friend in Rajkot who could was invite me? Ah, let me think. After two days, call him back. I talked to Balakrishna, you should come. Okay. That's all. That's all. <laughs> that was the invitation. On many places like this. So I came. I had to go by plane from Bombay. But on that day, no flight was going. So what to do? I went out of the airport, domestic airport, and asked the taxi drivers how to do. They put me to another airport in Bombay. I used to drop the ticket, or the new ticket, and flew over the ocean in two hours to Rajkot, okay. sitting between the propellers, like okay. this. <laughs> we landed, nobody to receive us, so we rushed into the institute, rushed up into the main hall. Seven professors were waiting there, pale face, telling me, you shouldn't be here. There has been no plane today. Okay. <laughs> and then, you are an experienced traveler to find another plane. So this was, I learned this, you know. <coughs> I have been in, in uh, Pakistan also oh. to see schools <coughs> and to <coughs> study culture. I have been in Islamabad <coughs> and in Taxilam and in Lahore, of course, also. Placing a lecture, mm -hmm. living in a guest house, and uh, being guided for culture. <coughs> and in Islamabad, it was like that. You can't imagine. I was in <coughs> Islamabad and mm -hmm. Tehran, and I was in the south of uh, Iran. So, in did you visit your house again in Second Crossroad when you? Uh, yeah, with my daughter I visited. Uh -huh. you know. Let me uh, explain this. A, a professor was t taking me <coughs> from the airport and then he told me, within half an hour I will pick you up, we will have a, a dinner and together. So then in the car driving, uh, what would you like to eat? Uh, this and this and this. Shall we go to the hotel? No, we will go home. We will go to my home. So a, a door <coughs> of this height was sh kept open. If the car was shifted in, the door was closed from the street. <laughs> Lady was waiting. They had been in England for many years. So <coughs> I was taken in. There was a table, like a white table, <laughs> and said, now we should have the tapas first on the table here. I told him, we should have the tapas on the ground, as you take it usually. <laughs> so, so I had to put it <coughs> on the ground, okay. having tapas. Then I managed to stand up again like okay. this. <laughs> then they said, <laughs> we should have the main dish at the table next room. I go, we should have the main dish again on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <coughs> from day one, you are a Tamilian. Yeah, you you had to, you know. Uh, it, it, <coughs> one has one has to observe certain rules, but yes. this was the, the first experience, you know, 
to eat like a, a Muslim people in people Israel. Here in Tamil the first yes. experience. It was so good. In the morning, they, they, they took me from the <coughs> guest house. Let's say it at 8 o'clock, 8.30. They declared, uh, no, we shall have first, we shall have some coffee and tea. Mm. I told them, we shall go to the, to the uh, lecture hall immediately because we shouldn't keep the young Students people waiting. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> so, it was uh, deviating mm -hmm. from the normal road, you know, but they also accepted it because it was good. Yes. The young people were my guests, you know. If you come in uh, to those countries, you are a unique surprise, you know, for people. Yes. The, the only one who ever comes to Avas in the south, far south. You have uh, the, f the famous David, a saint who was uh, supporting the rulers. He was giving good advices. David in the lion's pit. Once another um, um, nobleman, he would declare David is a bad man. So he was put into the lion's pit. <coughs> but the lions would uh, continue sleeping and go on. Mm. They would not eat him. Okay. Because he was a good man, mm -hmm. and this this fellow was put in the lion's pit. Mm -hmm. Immediately, okay. he was yeah. destroyed. David, the advisor, yes, very far south. And it, this was before the war. You know, <coughs> Syria was in peace, and Iran also. It was in the nineties, so it was no not dangerous as it is now. Uh, when you were in here uh, during uh, 63 to 65? 60. Yeah. Uh, did you go anywhere uh, in within India? Uh, we spent four weeks in um, Munar. Oh, Munar. Yeah, close to Cochin. Okay. Yes. And this was, it was the old colonial time because there were still, uh, in Munar there were still 30 uh, in British farmers mm -hmm. and only one uh, Indian, farmer. Indian farmer. So it was still the old way. And we were, so we were visitors and they liked to, you know, spoil us and, and uh, large <coughs> guest house and so on. We had the food with them and especially there was uh, there was on the Thursday there was a ladies' day, mm -hmm. so all the ladies from farms with their children came in with their maidens also, a ladies' day. So we were taken to the ladies, and they told old stories from centuries ago. They told old stories, and we had to look and to listen. And there was <coughs> one story. There was. One one lady called Mary, and she was. They didn't like Mary, but they told us, you know, this Mary. Once the British Queen came to India, and this ugly Mary, she was, she was, in the, it was able to be in the first row. We were in the last row. Isn't it a shame that Mary was in the first row, close to the Queen? <laughs> They okay. told the story four times four each times. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> and the gents, <coughs> Saturday, being brought with their driver in the main hall, come on board. Mm. So I had to stick around, sit there, drink beer. Mm. At my side, you would pile up uh, full bottles, and at their side, they would uh, pile up empty bottles, you know? <laughs> <coughs> Real old time. And then <coughs> bar, and then the dinner between <coughs> 8 and 10, and then at 10 o'clock, closed, and the uh, drivers would take the, the bus into the car, and they would drive out hours, many hours, to far remote you know, farms every Saturday. It worked. Okay. It was the old, you know, the <coughs> old British atmosphere. And once uh, I, I revisited the farms also with my family because 
it was new for them, you know, a young family coming as friends. So once I went up into the Kundali estate, it was very high. It was the best quality of tea. And there was a um, um, golf place playing golf. Uh, and only for the manager of the uh, institution and his friends. So I was I put there and they received me immediately and took me in. And the manager then had a large room and I was placed here and he used to sit there and there in order and yeah. I had to eat there and then it was 10 o'clock and then we are, what about your wife? <laughs> is, she, is she informed about you being here? Uh, give her a ring. So I rang up my wife. It was far out. <laughs> and said, I, I, my, my dear wife, uh, they keep me here. I can't <laughs> leave immediately. Okay. It will take some hours. My wife, stay where you are. No? <laughs> <laughs> and those steps, they declared. In my, in my case, I would do this. At 10 o'clock, I would say, I will come at 11. At 12 o'clock, I would say, I come at 1, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> Good advice, huh? Good advice. It was a nice time, to those four weeks. A different time, but it was very nice. So we went to Bangalore. We, we, we had a priest here, Lutheran priest. <coughs> and my younger daughter was baptized here. Oh, in okay. In Kilpauk. Oh. Mm -hmm. But at the end, I broke my leg. Oh. When you were uh, here? Cooper's mommy, a mechanic. Yes. He took me to his village. Okay. In Putokotai South. So we were received by the major and uh, taken around. And then the major invited me come for Pongal <coughs> in January 65. So we went there for Pongal. We enjoyed the procession. I came there along with Auntie Lakshmi from Uru and Kupuswami. So I enjoyed the procession. Is this? This is the bridge. I was standing here with the camera. Mm -hmm. I had a tape recorder and the camera. Okay. And I was following uh, the procession, and I didn't know that there was no reading. No more bridge. <laughs> I had to jump down. Three meter. Oh. There was no water. I would had to run down to the rocks. Okay. So was it, was it a major fracture? The procession was over. Okay. They came down and put me up. Okay. Four years ago, <coughs> I was in the village. Oh, and you came, went again? Again, to the again. And uh, an old farmer came from his house and told me, after this, I have lift, taken lift. you <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go to that village uh, last week, okay. but we couldn't find the address. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I was taken to Oroya um, Petta, and uh, it was uh, this part, this piece here was break, yeah. broken off. So mm -hmm. they had to fix it. Okay. Oper um, operation of operation. Uh, you know, shortly. Mm -hmm. Then I was at home, and uh, doctor, my wife was upset, of course, you can yes. imagine. I came, <coughs> I came back. They had to take, uh, I couldn't drive. Mm -hmm. A, a bus driver from the next village, they came and they took me up and we reached um, Royal Petter and at 12 o'clock in the night. I was examined full body, you know. Next morning, examined again. And my wife was, you know, really sorry. But it was, it was a very important time because I was in the general ward. There was no private room available. <coughs> there were 20 gents on this side and 20 here. So nobody could speak English except one merchant. So okay. where do you come from? Germany, 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 Germany. Then okay. how many children have you got? Children, 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 okay. children. <laughs> oh, right. Behind my head there was a wall. And behind this wall 
There was a general war for the ladies. Oh. So one day they <coughs> had fallen from the bed. Oh. And couldn't be cured. So <laughs> day and night. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So after four days, my wife told the doctor, please get my husband oh. home. <laughs> so oh, she was, <coughs> she was staying with no, you there. She was staying with you there. No, no, she brought the she brought this food. Oh, okay. There was no kitchen. Okay. So I was taken home. And oh, okay. so we came every afternoon at three, <coughs> had some whiskey with my wife, then came up to mm -hmm. check up. So this is also again mm -hmm. a very impressive time, you know? Yeah. It, it worked nice. It, it was, when I came to Downswijk, it mm -hmm. was done well. They used, uh, they used a, a sort of nail mm -hmm. to put it back, you know? It is called Kincha name. So it was Kincha nail. Okay. It was invented by a German uh, uh, doctor, okay. surgeon, German surgeon. And okay. still, though, I have connections to this, his family. Oh, but okay. I, he, is, he was living in St. Tom. Mm -hmm. But I, I couldn't find a house. Yeah, he has, the city has changed he a had, uh, He had a daughter and three, three boys. Uh, but in the, his name is Bashir <coughs> Ahmad. Mm -hmm. There are about 2,000 Bashir Ahmads here in the telephone directory. Yes. <laughs> so this is the additional impression, you know, from India. Mm -hmm. Bad and good, interesting and whatever, risky. It is the fate. How can you know that there's no waning? I didn't know, and I was, I was following the procession, procession and, and turning around. I have carried you up <laughs> after 50 years. That's really nice. You know, the, the real uh, basic um, culture is in the villages. Even last week I went to the village of the um, cook here. And they are so, in their character, they are so close to our villages, you know, not spoiled. And in, in, in one generation rising from uh, uh, farmers, boy to a school teacher, and next generation rising from the school teacher to an engineer in England or in America. Mm -hmm. So within two steps, you know, from the ground. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's very wonderful talking to you, right?